Well, we've now come to the end of our study in Ephesians. In the latter half of Ephesians chapter 6, Paul begins by saying, Finally, be strong in the Lord and in the strength of His might. You see, once we place our faith in Jesus Christ, we have a new identity in Christ. And God puts His Holy Spirit, a seal upon us that we are now His. Well, prior to that, we belonged to the schemes of the devil. And so Paul tells us that we have to remain strong in the might and the strength of the Lord. He says, put on your, the full armor of God to protect yourself against the schemes of the devil. And he tells us about the reality that our struggle is not against flesh and blood or the physical realm and the people that we interact with. Our, our struggle really is against the principalities and powers of this present darkness. And the devil himself is scheming against us to discourage us, to distract us from our calling uh, to live out the good works that God has planned in advance for us that we should conduct our lives in them. So he says, wear truth like armor, wear righteousness, wear the faith that we professed in Jesus Christ as that protection against those devil's uh, fiery arrows that he's shooting against us. And there are two offensive weapons that he puts in our hands that are so vital for us in this battle. Number one is the sword of the Spirit, which is the Word of God. You see, the devil wants to distract us, discourage us through his accusations and lies. And the truth of the Word of God, if we are reading daily God's Word, protects us from the lies of Satan. The lies that, that God is not pleased with us. The lies that, uh, that our circumstances is uh, all that is important, not, not et the eternal scheme of things. And the truth of God's Word helps protect us that even when our circumstances are difficult and, and we are struggling with discouragement, that through faith and uh, through the reading of God's Word, we are continually presented with the goodness, the reality of the goodness of God, that He is in control, that He has your best interests in mind, and one day He will rescue us from this present world and deliver us into his kingdom. In addition to the word of God, he gives us the weapon of prayer. Paul says, uh, pray for all of the saints continually. Paul says, pray for me. Paul was in prison when he was writing this epistle. He says, pray for me that I would have boldness to speak the word of God uh, as I ought to. We need to pray for one another as a part of our offensive weapons against the discouragement of the enemy. Be in God's Word. Pray for one another daily. And I just want to encourage you this week to commit to daily praying, not just for your own needs. Pray for the needs of people around you. Pray for the salvation of family members, co-workers, friends that have not yet placed their faith in Jesus Christ. Pray for the circumstances of people you know who are discouraged, who are suffering, who are facing uh, circumstances that uh, tend to make them you know, feel like, where is God in all of this? Pray for one another. Use our words to encourage one another in that process. It's been a great study. And this upcoming Sunday, we are having... Um, a great service where we are highlighting the two ordinances that God has given us as a church. Number one, we're going to celebrate the Lord's table or communion. And number two, we're going to baptize four people who have placed their faith in Jesus Christ. We're going to have communion service and a baptism service this upcoming Sunday, so you're not going to want to miss it. So we'll hope to see you this upcoming Sunday at 1030.